listen up. Today's video, we're going to locals. We're gonna play the best I got the pendulum, and no one's gonna set a chance. Let's go! Go! You guys want to see some battle ox pendulums? Let me know in the comments. Ten comments that say battle ox pendulums. I will roll up with three battle ox in my deck at the next locals and win. We have just made it downtown. Time to clap these bums up. All right, boys. So we're gonna take you on this mission. So we're short on time right now. Rounds gonna start in ten minutes. Get a deck, and we have to win in five minutes. And then we gotta go, go get his wife a gift from the store. All in one round. No problem. Mission begin. Let's go. Trip out. Six watch, you out. So I'm calling you right now. And we're gonna absolutely clap it. We're in our path. Let's go. It's gonna be amazing. No one has a chance. Let's go. Sometimes the world works in your favor. Usually they start at six, they start at 6.30. So you have three minutes to pull right. this mission. We get the gift, we come back, we clap everyone up. For some reason, oh, whoa, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I really almost took someone out for a pizza. Okay, so for some reason, even though my boy Dougie Ford said we don't need to wear mask, they're enforcing a mask rule. What the heck communism shit is this, bro? Well, guess what? It's against my religion of uh, not giving a fuck. So, <laughs> so fuck that. Not giving a fuck <laughs> yeah, uh, Karen already came out of saying to put it on, but sorry. Uh, see you later, Karen. Take it up with my HR department. Uh, hello, HR? Yeah, we don't give a fuck. <laughs> Let's go. Mission failed. He fucking broke it. <laughs> buy it. She broke it, bro. Yeah, yeah, she had the perfect, uh, what was it? It was oh, a necklace, God, right? A blue. It was a it was blue, sick necklace. It was a blue uh, birthstone. And she fucking broke it. It was a yeah, necklace, though, right? It. It yeah. A necklace, yeah. Yeah, she pulled it out with the lady and she just broke it. <laughs> Like, can you fix it? She said no. You wanna know why? No. Bro, no. she's literally walking with two Yu Gi Oh gods in her presence. She just couldn't handle it. Her fingers That's were like, scared. and then just broke. But it's all good, because now we can get some Chick fil A. We're gonna clap some people up at locals. Let's go. We got the Gio. Which one would you guys get? Let me know in the comments. Gianni Ola, Tony Pepperoni, Capone. For my boy, Capone. You already know we're getting Capone. Thai pie for Sam. Sicilian, got honey heat. Bunch of options here. Canadian, Honolulu. Canadian, what it looks like, like snowboard and shit? No, I'm more of a Capone guy. Bianca, Sophia, whatever that is. I think we're gonna go rock with the Capone. Let's go. A wild Dino appears, let's go. What's good, Guys, we we're literally just saying that we needed uh, Sean to have a deck. That's My right. boy Tino came clutch. Came through. Can we playing Invoke today? Let's go. We got this. Yo. Now the next goal is for it to win. We walk in with our pizza, tell us we can't eat here. I'm literally the pen god, but all right. I guess we'll let this one slide. Leave no man behind, gotta wait for our boys. Last time I'm wearing this mask shit, it's totally fucking pointless. Yo, bro, you winning the journey today? Hands down. Hands down? You're gonna clap up. You're gonna clap the pen god up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat everyone. You're gonna 5 0 me. Yo, I'm gonna crash you. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, bro, I gotta give a shout out to you right now. Last time I saw you, yeah, yeah. bro, you, I was telling you earlier, guys, he lost a little like 50 pounds. Insane. You know what I mean? It was amazing, bro. Gotta, I'm really proud of you for that. For you, you know really proud of you for that, bro. It's amazing. Thank you so much. You're gonna clap everyone up today, right? Yeah, we'll try my best. Let's know. go. You just heard what your boy said. He said he was gonna 5-0 you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't show up. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, you gonna bench, bench press everyone today? Uh, maybe. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, I noticed you play Yu-Gi-Oh. Are you gonna beat everyone in the tournament today? Yo, the Madoche God will beat everyone. The Madoche God's gonna beat everyone. Yo, what's up, bro? You gonna? Be oh, yo. yo. This is an OG. Everyone who doesn't know, Dolly's OG. You're gonna clap up everyone, right? Yeah. Man. Yo, are you gonna beat the Madoche God? <laughs> Yo, Game Nation in, invading 401 right now. We're yeah, gonna win. One of us are gonna win. Yo, are you gonna win? Yeah. That's Cap. Right, one of us are gonna win. Let's go. Yeah, we're gonna arm wrestle for it. Arm wrestle. Yeah. Okay, let's go. All right, boys. We did not. We did it. We cut the 60 card down to 41. We're one off, but we don't want to cut it out. That's like I'm literally debating cutting out a right. Should I do it? Should I be a madman and just play two right? Should I do it? That would be the stupidest or maybe geniusest thing in the world. Sometimes you do open a lot of them, and then you could. Oh no, it's so stupid. You know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the craziest decision in Yu-Gi-Oh history, and I'm gonna play two right. I'm gonna make the craziest call in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh, and I'm gonna play two right over three. I'm gonna win this locals, and then probably win YC Charlotte with it. And everyone's gonna call me an idiot, but I'm gonna win. So who's the idiot? Let's go. Yeah, Yo, you're gonna clap everyone up today. I hope so. What deck you play? DDDs. DD ah, we're in trouble, boys. Yo, you gonna win today? 
I think so. I'm what deck you so. playing? I'm playing ABC. ABC! Ah, well, okay. Honestly, the only person can destroy it is probably your deck, but uh, <laughs> I, as long as you as long as you could bring out the big boy, the fusion, you're gonna win. Thank you, Scott. I believe in you, bro. Let's go. You're gonna beat everyone today? Of course. Ah, what deck you playing? Trapagate. Trapagate? Sorry? Trapagate Melfies. Melfies! Okay, okay. <laughs> I cut our 60 deck down to 40. Exactly 40. To see the Brave Engine more. I take out one rider. What the heck am I doing? I just get this weird feeling it's gonna work out. Let's see how it goes. Let's go. Round is up. Glory to Aqua Mantris. Local time, let's go! What an amazing local experience so far. And guess what, guys? Our 40 card Cyber Stack will win. Cyber's Brave, best deck after Pendulum. Ah! I'm excited, guys. It's gonna be absolutely amazing trading for YCS Charlotte. My friend there pulled the Ulti Ecclesia. I'm still yet to pull an ulti in all these local trips. What the heck? But it's all good. Because who needs an ulti when you got a Verte and a Conda, baby? Let's go. Let's go. My opponent is playing a very interesting deck. It is not a meta deck. It is a deck that you might, you guys might, some of you guys are familiar with from before. We hit with Imperm Crow. Ah! So our site doesn't resolve. He enters battle phase. I'm like, damn it. Battle phase. And then he goes Faker. <laughs> Imperm Crow. Evenly Faker. Oh my God. But we still win, baby. Or do we? So here we summon out the dash because it'll have to uh, DP about the resolve once possible. We activate our equip spell to balance the silk. We're hoping to get a, a bait from my opponent. I want to activate his card ASAP. I'm going to Ghost Ogre's protocol whenever he activates it because I do have that in hand. So that's some good use of Ghost Ogre. And then just like that, it's going to be a game here with Selene Ice. Go, let's go. What a victory, bro. We came back from Evenly Baker. Imperm Crow. Ah, let's go. If that victory does not prove that you need to buy a beautiful Triff Gaming Playman on www.triffgaming.com with the LH and the Dogmatica. I don't know what will, bro. It is absolutely beautiful. Guys, 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 listen, I'm going to tell you guys right now. Guys, deck boxes in this L beautiful LH Playman are coming very soon. It is the most sexy artwork for any deck box or mat I've ever seen in my life. The deck boxes, guys, I'm not capping, is the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. Holy shit. Uh, here, we cosmic that spoofing. That's huge. If he can't get his energy going, we are good. He goes ogres are fateful, which is all good because we just want to stop his cards. We don't care about ours. And just like that, souls as GG, baby. Let's go. Still got Verte. One oh, this deck's insane, bro. Let's go, guys. Pen best deck. Cybers brave second. Let's go. Guys, round one in the book. That was an awesome round. Shout out to my opponent. He played well with Alter Dice. You got evenly improved. Baker. Ah, we pulled through. It was a crazy game one. And we pulled through game two. Let's go. We'll see what the rest of the way has. Let's go. You know, you are not playing Shadal Brave. What the heck? <laughs> Fucking Jack, bro. Let's go. Look at those triceps. Here comes my second favorite thing of Yu-Gi-Oh. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. Survive, I love it. Two Game Nation men dueling it off here for glory. Will it be the hero god or the virtual world god? With no face, because he's hiding it with a hat. There we go, we see some pain, we see some eyes, let's go. Round one in the book. That was easy. We're playing the second best deck after Pendulum. So let's, let's go, bro. Let's go. We have 20 minutes left on the clock. And we're out here. Is that a strip club? Oh my God. I think I know what we're going to do mid-round. Let's go. I think we know what we're going to do mid-round. Let's go. <laughs> what the fuck? Let's win the BRB, boys. BRB, you think I let me in with the camera with the with the phone? Let's go, guys. But all we know is we're gonna win. That's for sure. We can't lose. I'm telling you guys, I'm feeling this deck right now at 40. I'm feeling it big time. It's way cleaner at 40. At 60, when you're post side deck, it's tough to side deck, dude, because you're gonna have weird ass like like matchups, like let's say Flunder, and you're gonna be left with so many dead cards. But at 40, you make sure like we're facing Alter Guys, and we just hit the perfect number at 40. But with too many high trap at 60 against random matchups, you don't really have like a good like thing, right? But I'm liking it at 40 right now. Uh, I'm really liking it. I'm not going to lie. I really like it. So we'll see how it goes as the round goes on. Uh, tournament is... We're going to win. And, yo, there's so many amazing food places around here. I love downtown. I think we should just go here more often. And just play Yu-Gi-Oh. Imagine that. Yu-Gi-Oh every day in the greatest city in the planet. After every single city in Macedonia. Also, screw Portugal. Macedonia forever. But it's all good, guys. Today, we're going to win no matter what. Let's go. I'm gonna win today, bro. 
Thank you, bro. I believe in my deck, too. You guys, this is my friend's deck that he put together last second. He's 1 0. Sean's 1 0. Let's go. Baby. We're 1 0 as well. We do this together like five seconds, bro. Alish. Atra. The deer. <laughs> With traps. Let's go. Traps and Atra. Let's go. I believe, bro. See you in the finals. This is what it is. Okay. All these cards are gibberish to me, guys. Yu Gi Oh! Forever. Oh, that's cold. Oh, that was the goal of the video, huh? <laughs> guys, next round, play against my boy. Hey. Ah, let's go. Battle of the Toronto Shore. Let's go. Beasting off against my boy Sean for the second round over here. We gotta win, bro. We gotta win. I recognize it's a little too zoomed in, but that's all good. Because what's gonna be zoomed in here is this impeccable gameplay. We're gonna DD Crow out his uh his Alistair before he's a chance to invocation. He hard drew another invocation, so he ends up having or not hard drew, sorry. He hard drew a second Alistair, uh, meaning he can still be able to resolve his invocation as well as trigger Golden Lord with the L land. So that's gonna be a good play from uh Sean. Ends up with Makaba, Conk, Scarlet, potential hand trap. We start off with right. We go Fateful. Uh, Fateful gets Ghost Ogre. So now I'm like, all right, it's all good. I believe I had no, I believe uh, the fact that I got Ash or something. But yeah, we have the next time I'll make sure the graveyard's in play as well. I realized here I zoomed in way too, way too much. So you can't even see the graveyard. So that's my fault, but that's okay. So he goes Fateful. He's going to conk the fate, the, the that effect. I think I actually hard drew the, the equip spell. I think that's what happened. But, uh, but yeah, we're going to go Link. Now we have our Link plays going. And uh, we already baited out the Makaba, so we, we are completely good to go at this point. Uh, we, we, we saved uh, our Cybers play for the very end. What we want to do here is we just want to bait every, literally everything he has. We want to get rid of every card he has on the field, just to get as much value. We get a Makaba to put up actually in a gate for us. We're locked at a three or higher, but we get his Makaba to be in the gate. We get our own DPs in the gate. We want to clear his whole field. And cool plays like that with Charmer, my guys. I'm telling you, check out the Patreon. Literally every Patreon member, whether it's Master Duel or TCG, the, every member that is a yearly member or a $50 member gets to decide weekly mem weekly uh, lesson plans and what we talk about is actually truly epic. So make sure to go sign up. And also just we have, we have $20 memberships for uh, to get access to every lesson regardless. So it's a lesson plan on pen best deck, baby. It's a lifestyle. Let's go. Here we are going to just try and control with Makaba and DPE. He does a cool play to be able to out the DPE uh, and still be able to trigger Wakero to, to banish it. That won't be enough here because we're going to be able to dark silly nexus code everything and uh, there's just going to be game here and we still have more plays as well so well uh, i had no spell casted by just normal summon dd crow uh, i'm going to access code everything that's 7800 gg let's go because he cursed outline for 800 now we're going to go on to game number two game number two i have ash blossom but i don't use it on the, the dr use it on the app colonial graveyard just because I don't know. I, there's a 99% chance he didn't have Alistair, but I don't know. I just wanted him to be locked out. I don't want any any to deal with any of that. I had Imperm as well. So I knew I literally didn't care about any of this. I just wanted to stop the Apcolon from resolving. Uh, I probably should have just Ashed it in a deer, but he also could have normal Ecclesia and do other stuff. But anyways, we're good here. We have a, an amazing setup, but there's just no way we lose this. Uh, I'm putting up all my Red Red Mercier cards here just to uh, bait his cards. So he activates Kong to try and bait and negate. I'm not going to resolve my uh, attempt to negate that. He goes Punishment. I'm like, all right, I'm going to negate that. Special out this because uh, I have control token. Special out my uh, Cybers plays now, and this is going to be easy. Uh, the thing with with Cybers and DPE and all this, th these are brand new uh, brand new cards that are just inherently better than, than the, the old decks like Alistair and like Ecclesia. They're just better one card engines. Uh, so uh, there's like there's not even if the deck is played perfectly, like the Alistair Dogmatica deck, it just won't be enough for a DPE deck because. DPE is just too much like with the uh, DPE brave cybers all this new new cards new strategies with charmers charmers being able to take all of his interruptions like Lich, all these all these one card engines of, of before they're kind of outdated so he's gonna go normal ecclesia he's gonna go Atlan I told him you know Atlan a little later because you're not gonna attack with the Florida Lee and he's just gonna eventually attack guys the biggest thing that stands out the most for me is a playmats bro look at that shit ah warrior electro playmat guys it's like 10 left of those gotta get those i think there's like three magician mats left i probably have to take it off the slide but if you guys get it now you're fine uh but yeah get the warrior electro my mats left bro i think that was one of the most underrated mats no one no it's not as sold as like the elish map but the warrior electro mats one of my favorites it's absolutely fucking beautiful when electron comes back this is the only map i'm playing on let's let's go bro let's score two right now we're just gonna win the next one and then we win uh let's go boys let's go solid match there against my dog we won there now we gotta win one more and we make it
guess what? As far as I'm concerned, we're already for a second because that was the finals, baby. Let's go. Sometimes it comes one round early. Last round! Last round, we're undefeated. We must win this game. This match. We're undefeated to this point. This is the last round of the tournament. We must win this match. We win this match. We win the tourney. Go XO. Let's go. We're facing off against a very bad matchup, and that is Heroes. I Valor the Vion. He mass changes. I'm like, fuck, man. I hate that about uh, Valor and Imperna. How they can get dodged by mass change. And guys, Dark Claw single-handedly kills this deck. Like, it, it's actually absurd how bad of a matchup it is. Like, if you don't hard draw right of it or Macy, or you're just, you just lose. And on top of that, they always have DPE. And man, I really needed to negate that Vion, bro. Oh my god. But you know what? It's fine. We'll uh, make do with what we got. We got to deal with uh, double Dark Claw here. Uh, as well as that so i go right uh trigger he's gonna trigger double banishes here i'm like ah it's fine uh dotscaper will trigger by getting banished and at this point i'm just, I just got to think in my mind right, i gotta clear these dark claws i gotta clear them i gotta clear the dark claws i gotta clear the dpe i go right and I have a very cool idea here uh sadly i think my phone ran out of battery i'm gonna tell you guys what happened but this duel is fucking extraordinary it's gonna run out of battery what i end up doing is i, I get the dpe off the field i believe with nightmare cerberus and then when I end up, uh, yeah, so I go link the Vody plays, Nightmare Servers to pop the DPE. And then I end up uh, stealing his uh, I Charmer to take his DPE. I enter Battle Phase to kill one Dark Claw. And then I use Dark Claw, effect, his DPE effect, uh, targeting one of my cards. And his other Dark Claw clearing his Dark Claw. So I end up on DPE. I think yeah, this part shows. Yeah, this so this part shows, but slowly it's going to uh, go down. And then I make my own DPE as well with, 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 with Verte. I go Dagda and get set up my, uh, yeah, Dagda. And then I have Fusion Destiny in hand. So... I set up all this with amazing follow-up, and I have Scythe in Graveyard. Scythe to hit him, but then he hits me with Plasma on his turn. It's a very long grind duel. I almost won, but Plasma ends up destroying my Scythe and DPE, so I just couldn't come through. But it was very close. Very, very close. So we're going to go into game number two. This one, I realized that throughout the... This match, the whole game one was like 25 minutes long. Uh, so we missed a lot of that just because my phone... Someone who was, who was watching the duel, a bystander just noticed and said, Oh shit, yo, your phone, it's not recording. So it was because too much battery, or it's not battery, what the heck, uh, not enough space. So now we're going to go first, uh, game number two, and now times of factors, we got to play super fast. Uh, we do kind of brick, like we don't have any cybers or uh, uh, wait any extender to make Verte and Scythe. We're just going to sit on DP. We couldn't Scythe him. When we Scythe him, we're good. He, he goes Imperm, I'm like, all right, it's fine. I'm going to declare it, destroy that, put in the graveyard. He goes Ferris. I'm like, all right, we're going to let that resolve because I don't want to get hit with uh, some stuff. I'm going to negate that. And then he ends up with Fusion Destiny in hand. I'm like, fuck. Bro. I think I had Valor in hand that I didn't want to Valor. Yeah, I had a Valor. I didn't want to Valor because I didn't want to hit with mass, with mass Change again, bro. You guys remember how bad that last one was when he uh, with the Mass Change? Very, very, very unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, it's all good, man. It's all good. Uh, he's going to end up clearing those. My goal, I, my DP comes back. I draw two here. I'm going to have to force his DP out of there. And uh, you know what? The, the time for some absolute Yu-Gi-Oh plays, bro. This is going to be insane. I skill, I activate right over Amis here. I want to enter battle phase first to clear as much as cards he has as possible. And then I'm going to charm or steal his, his DPE. Uh, he ends up popping that. So my DPE actually cannot clear his because of how big his is. So I pop his DPE. And I'm just thinking of plays that we could do. I want to steal his DPE so he can't play. That's massive for me. Uh, ends up, uh, I just DD Crow his DPE. And I have another DD Crow in hand. So I DD Crow his DPE. And uh, he brings up Denier. He top decks Stratos, bro. This is the Destiny draw. The Yugi heart of the cards moment. He top decks Destiny draw. He goes Bane. I'm like, it's all good. Uh, I, my DP comes back. Bane destroys DP. There's really not much I could do here. Cannot be destroyed by Bala or card effects. I gotta find a way to get rid of it. I go Souls here, which is a, a great card to draw. Uh, I go Charmer. I go Axis Code Talker. Uh, Celine Axis Code. And uh, like, I kill it. But I still can't win. And then, I, I, for some fucking reason, there's no time left. I was passing quick so I could get another turn. I forgot to pop his, his fucking increase because there's no time. This, but he top decks the card anyways, and there's nothing we could do that we lost. Ah, what a tough matchup. I could have played that one better. Played perfect the whole tourney, and I misplayed this last game too in the last match. Fuck. It's all good, though. It's all good. Ah, we lost the last round. We finished up X1. If we won, I would have gone XO. Heroes, yo, my opponent played amazing. I gotta give him daps where daps is due. Like, Heroes is a crazy match. Right now, though. We, my boy's gonna avenge me. Sean's gonna avenge me. They're gonna play for fun here to avenge me, and he has to. That's what that's what my, my boys do. But yeah, guys, Dark Claw. I'm telling you guys right now, Dark Claw is a very tough matchup, man. My bad, my bad. Dark Claw is a very tough matchup. Dark Claw, what are you gonna do with Cybers? Guys, next time we come to 401, we will win.
I'm gonna win next time, right? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. X1, man. It's fine. It's not shit, but like it's shit. But it's okay. Next time we'll go XO. It's all good. It's not bad. We still, as you guys saw in all the matches, the deck performed admirably. It's I'm, honestly no excuses, no no bad stuff to say about the deck. I wouldn't change a thing. The deck performed great. Like I actually really like it. And for some weird reason, I get this weird feeling playing two right of the Amir series to fucking play. I don't know. I, I like it, dude. I don't like opening too much of that shit. I like it. Let's go. We're gonna roll with it. What a nice guy. Give me to my say hi. Nice guy. Yo, did you? How'd you do today? Abysmally. Ah. X1? That, that's what I get for playing Thunder. So. That's what you get for playing Thunder. I hope you, go, I hope you win X3. Yeah. <laughs> but next time you're winning. Yeah. All right, let's go. Yo, boys, I'm going to tell you guys a funny story. Just before we got here, with me and Sean, when we were running that mission to get his, his girl uh, ring, I saw this sexy girl outside. I went to go talk to her. Bro, she didn't fucking, like, she had no response. She was like, who is this pen god idiot? Bro, I'm the pen god. You should be honored breathing the same air that I do. And instead, she didn't really want to talk. It's kind of disappointing. But it's all good. We'll get, we'll get a hotter girl's number. She wasn't that hot. She's like a solid fucking six. Like, flunder. <laughs> so, yo, let me get this straight. So, you gave him the same DP he won my ass with. Yes, sir. What the heck? And I beat his DP and beat him. I avenged our boy right here. Let's go. It was super fun to play 4 1 today. Shout out 4 1 games. Yes, super yes, fun. Yes, Shout out everyone who came. And hey, we finished X1. It's fine. Next time, we're going to come back. Third. We're going to come back next, next Tuesday. We're going to have to be XO. No room for defeat, only victory. Yes, and uh, now there's a lot of room in my stomach for food. Yes, so now sir. we're going to get some delicious food. Yes, sir. And uh, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys either next, either tomorrow or maybe at some random strip club because there's apparently one across the street. <laughs> Yo, Tito. Are we going to the strip club? Fuck that mask. <laughs> Fucking mask off. Facts. <laughs> Yo, I'm crazy. Yo. So, you're, what, in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you're yeah, telling me we Yo. should go there right now? Yo, I'm telling you, it's wild, fam. Like, that's it's <laughs> wild, man. All right, guys, I promise you guys, okay? Next time we come to 401 Games, when I go XO, I will celebrate by the only way I know how, baby. <laughs> I'm going to win next time. 401 games. They don't know about the Penga, baby. All right, so we're debating now where to go get food. There's a cool place here. That, I mean, there's a thousand places downtown. We live close downtown, so we're about to go there. But I'm saying let's get sauce, baby. It's a Tuesday. Yes, What's that uh, sauce? Okay, I don't drink. Up on Tuesday, some shit. I don't fucking know. All I know is that the only thing going up on a Tuesday day. is our dubs. It's a sauce day. It's a sauce day. Every day is sauce day. We're, Tuesday is sauce day. Bro. Wednesday is sauce day. Saturday is sauce day. You know what's the funniest thing? I'll tell you guys right now. I literally came here with no deck, and I beat <laughs> the guy who went undefeated. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, baby. So I was a real champion, man. Let's go. Let's go. Is that simple? Chat, chat, what would you guys do? You're going to watch this video. We're going to surprise you guys. Yeah. You're going to watch this video. It'll be out on Wednesday, tomorrow. Actually, <laughs> definitely not if we get sauce. <laughs> but uh, what would you guys do? You're out with two of your boys, three of you guys. Tuesday night. You guys have, you have work tomorrow, like a reasonable time. Not really. Like, wake up whatever the fuck you want because we're bosses. And uh, what would you guys do? Would you like a sauce with the boys? Or would you just have a little Chick fil A? Or would you have some uh, nice, maybe sit down at like some Korean barbecue or something? You guys decide what you can do in the comments. I already know what I want to do. I'm going to talk to my boys and we'll, we'll, we'll see uh, what we end up doing in a few seconds. Let's go. We opted to get some Korean barbecue, but the night's young. The game plan is very simple. We get some food, we get some sick food because we're three, we're big dudes. We're not no little tiny, and I don't mean big by fat like you. We're big, so we need food in the system. You can't put a five negates on an empty stomach. You can't talk to five girls on an empty stomach. So we're gonna get some food in our system, and then the game plan after that. Best of both worlds, baby. We're not just gonna Yu-Gi-Oh. We're gonna life. Then we're gonna get drinks at the bar. That's that. Hello. We're gonna get drinks at the bar after this, and it's gonna be a good time. All I gotta say. Is Korean barbecue best food? And best deck, let's go. The soji? Yeah. Alcohol? Yeah. Delicious? Okay. okay. Guys, we're getting sauce, let's go. Two two birds, one negate. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll just get both. One of my favorite. Really? I'm, 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 I'm noob. You play Yu-Gi-Oh? Really? Yeah, I play Yu-Gi-Oh too, but I'm, I'm noob. Oh, you're noob. Okay. Yeah, I play uh, Sky Striker. Sky Striker. Sky Striker. 
samurai. Six yeah. samurai. You know, yeah, you, should, you should play the game, bro. It's really fun. Yeah. Alright, boys. We're gonna eat this times a thousand, and then after that, we're gonna eat more. That's right. And then we're gonna eat more. That's right. And then we're gonna eat more. Then we're gonna chop this. And we're gonna eat more. There's a sauce, a Korean barbecue. It's like this meat sauce. I don't know what it is, but it's so remarkable. <laughs> oh my god. Alright boys, so we're gonna have to run a cold herb mission. We have like seven pieces of food left. Like seven plates of food. Seven plates of food left. But we can't finish it. So we have to We're gonna have to hide this baby. <laughs> B BRB. Absolutely remarkable. This is the best Korean barbecue I had in my life. You Cheers. Keep one, right? You play one. Cheers. What do you want me to set? They're trade bait. I know. I'll, I'll trade it. I'll take them off your hands. Movie beast. Movie beast. Look. What do you like? These sake? Whatever. I still don't know what this is called. I completely forgot. The name's so funny. Yeah, that one. It's really nice to drink with. It's like, it tastes like water. Well, this tastes like peach juice. Okay. It's nice I'll to take, drink with this, like, this. whether it be sushi or sake or whatever sure. it may be. Alright, so now you're gonna come by soon. I'm just gonna tell them. But, like, but, yeah. Excuse me. Uh, okay, so yeah, this food was delicious, but we can't eat anymore. You have a set, you have a set. Yeah, we, this food was so amazing. It was the best Korean park you ever, but we're so full. Is that okay? Is that okay if we leave it? Okay, thank you. We, we, we did our best. Yeah, we're done, we're done. Thank you. Absolutely amazing. Honestly, absolutely amazing. Yeah, amazing. Nicest people ever, bro. We literally left like seven plates of food and they're not charging us. I'm literally gonna grab the entire 401 Games crew and come here every fucking day after Tuesday locals because we just come here on Tuesdays. It's pretty far. Amazing. Literally, greatest Korean barbecue I've ever had in my fucking life. I'm not even capping. Wow. Still, the aftertaste of it. And with the ice cream after, with the whatever Pete drink, oh damn! I love them, I love them. Korean Grill House, that's the name. Everyone go there right now. This place is fucking incredible. Wow, like we literally dropped seven plates of food. Incredible service, 10 out of 10. Amazing food, very good prices. And then I asked again, oh my, you're an angel. You are literally an angel. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, thank you. Oh my God, I love this place. More ice cream.